Do you like watermelon? We're going to show you how to make a wonderful, refreshing watermelon and arugula salad. Hey everybody, Will and Faith here with Get to the Root Health and Wellness. Hello. Where we love to come and share healthy, tasty, wholesome plant-based recipes yes. and awesome fun in-home workouts. Yes. Well, as you can see, we're in our kitchen today, right. so we're going to be sharing with you a tasty, amazing recipe. If it's your first time joining us, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you can be informed when we upload those wonderful tasty recipes and those fun sweaty workout videos. Yes. I don't know about you, but I love watermelon. And it's summertime and this is the time of year when you, you want to eat salads. You want to eat something light. You don't want nothing very heavy. However, you know, with the watermelon, it's very refreshing. So we're gonna go on and start this watermelon and arugula salad, but we're gonna start with our dressing first. The dressing is really simple to put together. It's gonna to be so simple that I'm gonna do it myself, of course, with my wife's help. <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless, anyone can put this salad together. Uh, so come on and join me. So we're gonna begin with the, the dressing, and the dressing is very simple ingredients. We're going to add some lemon zest here. And of course, some fresh lemon juice. And I'm going to add some white balsamic vinegar. Now with the balsamic vinegar, you want to make sure that it's reduced balsamic vinegar. On the label, it should read 4% acidity. Okay, that'll let you know it'll be sweet, um, and it won't have so much of a vinegary taste, but it'll be more of a sweetness. Our next ingredient will be some chopped red onions. Our next ingredient is orange juice. The orange juice you use can be freshly squeezed or it can be store brought. Okay, this is what I use because it's just more convenient, but whichever one you want to use is up to you. It's totally your choice, okay? All right. Yeah. Now we're going to add some herbs. Our next ingredient is basil. Our final ingredient will be some nutritional yeast. Uh, so at this point, we just simply stir it up. It smells it smells amazing. Yes. All right. So we're going to set our dressing to the side. Yes. So next you're going to grab yourself a big bowl and you're going to add your watermelon to the bowl. Now, to our bowl of watermelon, we're going to add the dressing that we previously made. All right. So our greens of choice is baby arugula. Yes. And you can find this green um, on any produce aisle. My favorite produce aisle is Walmart. Of uh, a baby arugula is a sort of spicy green. It is peppery and it is amazing in salads. So we basically take our greens and we're going to uh, roughly chop the greens up. Our arugula is roughly chopped. And we're going to add the arugula to our bowl and we're simply going to stir the arugula in with the watermelon. So our salad is almost done. Well, it's almost done, not quite. We got a couple of more things we're going to add. Yes, okay. some finishing touches. Oh, yes. Our next ingredient is going to be some nutty palm. I mean, that has like a sort of cheesy, savory taste, but there is no cheese. It's all nuts. You can check out our website for that recipe. Our next ingredient is going to be some walnuts. Last but not least, and this is totally optional, but it makes an amazing difference. I like to add a little pinch of Chipotle pepper. Now it's time for a taste test. Mm. Amazing. Mm. 
give this recipe a try. Yes. It'll be down in the description below. Leave your comments. Let us know how much you enjoyed it. Always remember, our health is our wealth. So let's get to the root of obtaining and sustaining it by eating more plants. Good to the last drop. 